could hear the whistle blow a hundred miles. Seen that train come down, you could hear the whistle blow a hundred miles, hundred miles, a hundred miles, hundred miles, a hundred miles. You could hear the whistle blow a hundred miles. Teardrops in my eyes I'm trying to read a letter From my home 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 I'm trying to read a letter From my It's a long, long way from old St. Louis to the Gulf to the Gulf of Mexico. Well, I make my home on the Mississippi. I'm a rouse but on the steamboat line. We hit the deck on a Monday morning. But we paint the dock on Saturday night. Yes. 
yourself Why you ever said goodbye And I guess I've shed a million tears or more I thought your love would die But darling, here's what I find You're always in my heart And on my mind Green River, where there. 
My brother Daniel came all the way up from Nashville, Tennessee to play for you folks tonight. Just so. to be with all you good people. We appreciate that. Uncle Steve, he came all the way from Kansas City. Claude came all the way from over by Millersburg. <laughs> I came from across the highway. <laughs> so.
the fine Uncle Steve. Here's one for the old folks. I want the old folks are in all. So we ought to be in pretty good shape on this song. Well, a country boy don't perspire And a city girl don't sweat But any fool can tell you Either one will make you wet I found out the hard way And I can tell you yet You'll do one or the other down in Muddy Bottom Muddy Bottom is a cornfield That my daddy gave to me it lays along the river banks back home in Tennessee. The hottest place this side of where nobody wants to be. Ruddy, ruddy, good old Muddy Bottom. Well, I hankered for the city and all the city lights. So I lit out to make my way and see some city sights. Now I catch myself thinking through long hot city nights, I'd be way better off back down. Muddy Bottom Muddy Bottom is a cornfield That my daddy gave to me Lays along the river bank Back home in Tennessee The hottest place to side Where nobody wants to be Ruddy, ruddy, good old Muddy Bottom Turn that around, Uncle Steve Well, I sure miss the river and the secret fishing pool I miss the girls that chased me through the cornfields after school Well, you may not understand it But I sure miss my mule Now I wonder why I left the muddy bottom Muddy bottom is the cornfield that my daddy gave to me It lays along the river banks back home in Tennessee The hottest place to side of where call Uncle Steve old then. I wonder what they call him now. <laughs> Here's the country ranger. Good boys. 
Texas with you. This is the Country Ranger reunion. We're happy to come out for their Lincoln Day celebration. I want to introduce everyone before we get off the stage here, because some of the folks did come a long way to play music for you today and to be our guests. So I want to start on the far end. This is not from any age order, no matter what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, it's my uncle on the five-string banjo, Mr. Steve Bodie from Kansas City, Missouri. He plays a great banjo. And next to Steve, he's not blood kin, but he's my brother just the same. I'll tell you what, we love to have him come out and pick with us. One of the finest flat pickers you'll ever see or hear. And a fine gentleman on top of that, Mr. Claude Crum. <laughs> Standing beside me right here, proud to say, down from Nashville, Tennessee. He's a songwriter, producer. He's got some nice CDs that they've been producing. He took time out of his schedule, and he is, has got a busy schedule. He runs 12 schools down in that district, down in Bedford County. My big brother, Mr. Daniel Kleindest. <laughs> Back on the base, he's our comedian. There used to be a comedian on our radio show. Say something funny, Eric. <laughs> Actually, he hardly ever speaks, but when he does, it's really monumental. But he plays a good bass guitar. My little brother, Mr. Eric Kleindenst. <laughs> I 
Over there on my far right, be your left, of course, playing guitar. Excellent vocalist, has been an excellent vocalist ever since I've ever started singing. He taught me how to play and sing, along with some others that I'll get to in just a second. But please give a nice thank you and welcome to my dad, Mr. David Kleindance, the Old Country Ranger. <laughs> and of course, if there's anyone who could teach a person how to sing, or write stories for the Fulton paper, <laughs> or do a lot of good things, that far as that goes. My mom has been singing since she was, about since she was born, probably. And she used to sing with the uh, late Ron Lutz occasionally, and of course my dad and mom met. Actually, I believe, if I'm correct, in Portland, Missouri, I was singing at a dance, back in about 1932. <laughs> well, well, maybe not quite. I might have got the numbers mixed up there. I don't know. The dance hall is gone, but we're still here. The dance hall is gone, but they're still here. Very proud and love my mom and dad both. Please give it up for my mom, Dorothy Klein Dance. Now, we used to in the old days where I'd jump in here and have to introduce my baby brother, but I think most of y'all know him. Well, it's not my baby brother. But he's the, he's my still my little brother, but um, of course y'all know Randy and um, he runs the dance hall out here every week and has for a long time. Uh, <laughs> he plays. What am I? He don't want me to I, say anything. I don't run anything. He, no, you don't run it. But you do play out here, and uh, I was going to give you a lot of credit. Anyway, he said, "Shut up." Okay. No, Bossy little brother. Y'all know Randy Klein dance. Give Randy a big hand, would you? Yeah. 